Yeah, guys, and tonight organizers say it should not have taken the death of a fellow student for HISD to take note and do something about school security. That is why they are here demanding action. And so HISD, we're watching you. Emotional students and community leaders gathering at the steps of HISD headquarters demanding action by the board. This after 19-year-old Cesar Cortez was shot and killed at Bel Air High School on Tuesday. Students are asking the board for more transparency, not only in this case, but other recent gun-related incidents on campus. I think we want accountability from the district, but we also want to raise awareness about the issue of gun violence within our schools um, because we don't want another life to be taken, you know, within, within our school, within our community. As for the alleged shooter, a 16-year-old fellow student who's been charged with manslaughter in the case, sources telling KPRC2 he appeared in juvenile court where it was decided he'll remain in jail until his next court appearance. Meanwhile, in this exclusive video, HPD dive teams can be seen looking in a drainage ditch near the school, searching for the gun believed to have been used in the shooting but didn't find anything. Also today, students gathering at Bel Air High School for a vigil to remember and honor Cortez. And it was more for the healing of the students involved. We let anyone speak that wanted to speak on the issue, anyone who was close to, close to him, who felt like they had to say something about what we would do moving forward. Um, but that was definitely a grieving period for everyone. And the funeral for Cesar Cortez is set for tomorrow at 2 o'clock at West University Baptist Church. We are reporting live tonight from HISD headquarters. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.